So, walk us through your win. Wow. Um, Brianna was definitely super tough. Um, she's strong, explosive, and likes to throw power strikes and was gonna, kept coming forward like I kind of expected her to. I was able to um, push the pace, kind of figure, figure my pace out, the right pace for this fight, and I was able to get the win. I didn't get the finish, which I really was wanting to come out with a finish, but I was able to get have a great fight. I mean, it was definitely back and forth and, and, and a good test for me, so um, I feel good about the win. What do you think of your performance? Uh, there's, I mean, there's always definitely things that uh, I wish I would have done that uh, I want to improve on. So my performance is only going to help me to go back to the drawing board uh, when I get back to training and fix those things that I want to work on and make me a better fighter. And what are your thoughts fighting for Invicta? Oh, it's still, it's a dream. Like, I mean, it's been my dream since I was still an amateur. I wanted to fight on Invicta and, you know, I had six pro fights and finally, finally I got the call. I've been, you know, trying to just push my game and, 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 and really show everybody who I was for a long time and try to get here. And, and here I am. I was luckily, luckily able to get the win through a lot of hard work. So. And what's next for you? I mean, we'll see. I, I'm hoping to get, I mean, to get on another Invicta card uh, as soon as possible. You know, what's next for me? I'm going to go back to the drawing board. Um, you know, I have three stepdaughters, Cece, Lily, and Cara, and uh, the two youngest ones, Lily and Cara, have a big grappling tournament coming up next weekend. So, I mean, we're a fighting family. We're going to um, all go in it together and, and help them be successful. So and is there anyone you'd like to thank? Oh, I'm sorry. Lots of people that I want to thank. Um, my managers, Will Hammond and Rosa Fritas with White Buffalo Fight Management, um, always pushing to um, work for the fighters. Uh, my strength and conditioning coach, Greg Jones at Monkey Bar, Monkey Bar Gym uh, Northwest, um, helped me put on a lot of muscle. Help me get my, uh, you know, I didn't have a lot of time prepare, to prepare for this fight. I only knew five weeks out, so we were like, oh my gosh, we gotta, gotta get me peaked at the right time. So, I mean, he, along with my uh, MMA coach, really did a good job in helping me get there. My husband, Dex Montenegro, um, he's also a pro fighter, five and one, uh, and he's my main training partner, my number one support, and, and we do everything together. So, huge thanks to him. Um, my head MMA coach, Daniel Ng. Um, who's helped me with my stand-up, with my clinch, with everything. I mean, he really get, puts a lot of time into helping me get where I need to be. Um, everybody at Gracie Baja Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, my professors, um, Rodrigo Lopes, Carlos Sievert, and Cindy Hales, um, always pushing me, pushing me, subbing me, throwing attempts at me. I mean, just pushing me to make me a better fighter on the ground. Um, uh, my sponsors, Jail Sex Bail Bonds, Six Chic Fightwear, Wendy Jarva, um, MMA Roadhog, um, Banna Nutrition, they should be here, I'm excited to meet them. Um, let's see, who else? Outlaw Fight Gear, um, did I miss anybody, honey? Shit. Beyond the Ink Tattoo, Minton Magnolia, um, Marketing, and I said shit, Six Chic. Outlaw Fightwear, Banner Nutrition. I think I said everybody. And thank you, big thank you to Shannon Knapp and Julie Kedzie and everybody in Invicta for um, treating us well and bringing me on their fight card and allowing me to fight and I'm hoping to fight again soon. So thank you. My friends and family. <laughs> thank you. Perfect, thank you.